We're back now with a growing concern about an energy drink that's very popular among kids. The amount of caffeine in one can is what's raising eyebrows here, and it now has the attention of a U.S. Senator. Here's ABC with more. New York Senator Chuck Schumer is calling on the FDA to investigate the energy drink Prime, which he says is being marketed to children and contains the caffeine equivalent of six cans of Coca-Cola. One of the summer's hottest status symbols for kids is not an outfit, it's not a toy, it's a beverage. YouTube stars Logan Paul and KSI founded the beverage brand. <laughs> The drink comes in two forms, energy and hydration, but it's the energy version in neon colored cans that has Schumer concerned for younger consumers. A 12 ounce can of Coke has 34 milligrams of caffeine, an 8.4 ounce can of Red Bull has 80, and a 12 ounce can of Prime Energy, 200 milligrams. That is too much for any growing child, and that much caffeine can cause some adverse effects such as disrupted sleep, mood disorders, upset stomach, even abnormal heart rhythms. The warning label on Prime Energy notes it's not recommended for people under 18, but Schumer says the warning gets lost in the advertising. Prime is born from the reels of social media and the enigmatic world of influencers. Kids see it on their phones as they scroll, and then they actually have a need for it. It's among a growing number of energy drinks with elevated caffeine. Gatorade's new drink, Fast Twitch, and Pepsi's Celsius both also have 200 milligrams. And Bang Energy Drinks from Vital Pharmaceuticals has a whopping 300 milligrams. As for Prime Energy, ABC News has reached out to Congo Brands, which makes Prime, and has not heard back. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York.